They weigh over 60 tons, withstand direct hits and move like beasts across the battlefield. But behind every tank is a factory where power meets precision and brute force is shaped by automation. So how do you build a machine designed to survive war? How is a steel box turned into a battlefield command center? And what role does robotics and automation play in making it all possible? Do you want answers? Watch the full video to get them. Before a single piece of armor is cut or a bolt is fastened, the process of building a tank begins in the digital world. In this phase, engineers and defense specialists come together to design every component of the tank with extreme precision, because in combat, there's no room for error. The starting point is simulation software, advanced tools that model the entire tank in 3D. These virtual models allow engineers to simulate everything from ballistic resistance and thermal dispersion to terrain handling and internal system layouts. The armor is tested virtually against explosive blasts, high velocity rounds, and even electromagnetic interference. Simulations are run for how the tank will behave in sand, mud, snow, and under intense mechanical stress. Every material is chosen with purpose. Ballistic steel, known for its hardness and energy absorption, forms the foundation. But modern tanks go beyond steel. Composite layers of ceramics, polymers, and reactive armor are added to absorb shock waves and redirect energy away from the crew compartment. Inside, every system is digitally mapped. Engine placement and cooling systems are optimized for airflow and weight balance. Turret rotation speed is simulated to ensure fast targeting under pressure. Suspension systems are tested to guarantee stability on uneven or soft terrain. Even crew ergonomics are considered, where a soldier sits, how they move, what they can reach in seconds under stress. And all of it is done before a single physical prototype is built. This digital first approach saves time, reduces cost, and helps avoid design flaws that could compromise survivability or effectiveness on the battlefield. By the end of this phase, the tank isn't just a concept. It's a fully engineered combat system, tested in thousands of simulated scenarios, ready for physical construction. Once the design is finalized and digitally validated, it's time to bring the tank into the real world. And it all starts with the hull, the main body of the tank, and the core structure that supports everything else. The hull is built for one purpose, survivability. It must withstand direct hits, explosive shock waves, and the crushing force of terrain. That's why it begins with ballistic grade steel plates, specially treated to be incredibly strong yet weldable. Each plate is laser cut with pinpoint accuracy based on digital blueprints, ensuring tight tolerances down to the millimeter. But modern tanks don't rely on steel alone. Composite materials, layers of ceramics, advanced polymers, and energy-absorbing alloys are often integrated between steel layers. These are designed to deflect, dissipate, or absorb the energy from kinetic and chemical attacks, giving the hull a layered defense system without adding excessive weight. Once the raw materials are prepped, massive hydraulic presses bend and shape the armor into its signature angular forms. These shapes aren't just for aesthetics. They're engineered to deflect incoming projectiles, reducing the chance of a direct penetration. Next comes assembly, and this is where automation takes over. Industrial welding robots precisely join each armor section together. Unlike human welders, these machines work with consistent heat and precision, ensuring strong, uniform welds with no weak points. Every seam is critical. If a weld fails under pressure, the entire structure could be compromised. The welding process is followed by non-destructive testing using ultrasonic sensors, x-rays, and sometimes magnetic particle inspection. Engineers verify that every joint is flawless without damaging the material. In a battlefield vehicle, a single microscopic crack can become a fatal flaw. Inside the hull, automated systems begin installing the structural frame, engine mounts, and shock-absorbing elements that will later support the suspension, powertrain, and turret systems. Channels for cabling and cooling are also embedded at this stage, designed to keep the internal layout clean, efficient, and easy to maintain under pressure. By the time this phase is complete, the tank has taken shape, but it's still a shell. The raw power is there, but the intelligence and control systems have yet to be added. 
That comes next. With the hull complete and the armor structure in place, the next phase begins, bringing the tank to life from the inside out. This is where brute force meets intelligence, where precision electronics, advanced sensors, and automated systems are integrated into the armored shell. Unlike traditional vehicle assembly, the installation of a tank's internal systems happens in highly controlled environments. The conditions must be clean, static-free, and temperature regulated. That's because tanks today are as much about data and responsiveness as they are about firepower. At the core of this system is the vehicle's electronic backbone, a complex network of wiring, processors, and communication modules that allows each subsystem to talk to the others in real time. Everything is modular and pre-tested, and increasingly, automation is used to install these components with surgical precision. Let's break it down. Sensor arrays are embedded throughout the tank, monitoring everything from external threats to internal temperature, hydraulic pressure, and engine diagnostics. Radar and thermal imaging systems are installed into pre-mounted slots with robotic alignment tools that ensure optimal field of view and calibration. Targeting systems, connected to the main weapon and secondary turrets, are mounted using vibration dampened brackets and calibrated using digital measurement tools. To streamline this process, robotic arms and automated insertion systems are used to handle delicate components like microchips, circuit boards, and fiber optic lines. These machines not only speed up the process, but also eliminate human error, crucial when dealing with equipment that will operate under extreme battlefield conditions. Each unit is automatically tested on installation. Embedded diagnostic software runs performance checks verifying that sensors are transmitting accurate data and that response times are within microsecond tolerances. If any fault is detected, the system flags it instantly, long before the tank ever leaves the factory. Other systems added during this phase include navigation and GPS modules, giving the crew full situational awareness electronic countermeasure systems designed to detect and jam enemy signals, internal crew controls and displays optimized for speed, simplicity and clarity in high-pressure environments. This phase represents a turning point. The tank is no longer just an armored machine. It's now a fully connected battlefield system, capable of detecting, analyzing, and reacting to threats in real time. And thanks to automation, every wire, sensor, and circuit is installed with mechanical precision, ensuring that when lives are on the line, the tech won't fail. Few components define a tank more than its main cannon and rotating turret, the offensive heart of the vehicle. But building and installing these elements requires a level of precision that rivals aerospace engineering. The main gun barrel, often 120 millimeters or larger, is crafted from high-strength forged steel. It undergoes heat treatment and rifling, a process that creates spiral grooves inside the barrel to spin the projectile for greater stability and accuracy. Any imperfection, however small, can affect trajectory, penetration, and safety. Robotic machining centers are used to mill and polish the barrel to sub-millimeter tolerances. Advanced non-contact laser measurement tools verify the internal geometry, ensuring the weapon is battle-ready from its very first shot. Once the cannon is complete, it's time to mount it into the turret assembly, a rotating armored platform that houses the targeting optics, firing systems, stabilization units, and ammunition storage. Robotic arms assist with this process, precisely aligning mounting brackets, hydraulic systems, and electrical connections. This integration phase is critical. The entire turret must rotate smoothly, even when the tank is climbing a slope or absorbing recoil. To achieve this, laser-guided alignment systems are used to ensure the gun is perfectly centered. The recoil system, autoloader, if present, and stabilization sensors are all calibrated and tested to ensure firing accuracy on the move. Finally, the fire control system, a digital interface that connects the gun, targeting optics, and crew controls, is installed and synced. This system enables split-second decision-making, automated range finding, and assisted aiming, all of which are tested and validated on the production line before the tank is ever deployed. Once fully assembled, the tank enters its final and most intense phase, testing. 
It begins with a series of static trials inside the factory. Hydraulic systems are pressurized, electronics are stress tested, the engine is fired up, and diagnostic software evaluates every subsystem, down to the millisecond. Next comes mobility testing. The tank is driven over rugged terrain courses designed to simulate real-world combat conditions. Deep mud, steep inclines, sand, snow, and water fording. Suspension systems, drive tracks, and steering mechanisms are pushed to their limits. Then, the weapon systems are tested. Live fire exercises are conducted to verify accuracy, recoil control, and targeting stability. The turret is rotated at full speed. Sensors are stress tested under simulated battlefield interference. Finally, the tank is placed in simulated combat scenarios using AI-driven systems and military-grade simulation environments. From GPS jamming to sudden system faults, the tank is tested for its ability to adapt and survive. Only after passing these rigorous trials is a tank considered ready for deployment. In every step, from welding and wiring to firing and movement, is documented and approved by both human engineers and automated inspection systems. Building a modern battle tank isn't just about armor and firepower. It's about precision, reliability, and cutting-edge automation. Behind every vehicle that rolls into the field is a factory filled with robotic arms, digital diagnostics, and systems working in perfect sync to create a machine engineered to survive the front lines. If you're fascinated by how technology and warfare intersect, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and check out our next deep dive into how defense-grade drones are assembled. This video is produced by Automate, the leading platform connecting robot and PLC programmers with companies shaping the future of automation. Visit autumn8deal.com to learn more and stay ahead in the world of smart manufacturing.